Hey guys, it's Kimmy Einstein, and today we're going to be playing The Wolf Among Us. Uh, I just finished playing the second season of The Walking Dead, and it left me wanting more of that kind of game, that kind of art style. And I came upon this game that was made by the same creators, uh, called The Wolf Among Us. I'm going to go ahead and go on the limb here and assume it's about a werewolf. So let's go ahead and get right into it and see how good it is. Alright, so all the episodes on this game is out, uh, because it's, this game's been out for a while. So we're going to go ahead and just start with episode 1 and play our way through. Game series adapts to the choices you make. The story is tailored by how you play. Exactly like The Walking Dead. So I'm hoping some similar aspects of the way it is. Once upon a time in New York City, there lived a community of fairy tale characters known as Fable Town. The fables who lived there arrived hundreds of years ago after they were exiled from their homelands. To the use of magic spells called Glamour, they have protected their secret community from the mundane world. Sheriff Bigby Wolf protects them from each other. Well, that sounds kind of cool. Kind of reminds me of uh, Once Upon a Time. Rule of five today again if you missed it. A record for the date. Hottest ever in June. Uh, 103 now and that humidity looks low. But remember, the hotter the air is, the more moisture it can hold. So 103 with 31% humidity is a lot more humid. Oh, we're living in the city. With 31% it is muggy out there. It's a pretty big city. Kind of reminds me of crime story. Like a detective story. They all started back in 1974. The day was muggy, dark, street lights were everywhere. But that simple thought in the back of my mind, I knew something bad would happen tonight. That sounds about right, right? Wolf Among Us. Kingdom Hotel, are we staying at that one? Because I'm a king, right? Yeah, at least he wears a tie. Yeah, that's bad for you, sir. You gotta stop smoking. It causes cancer. Oh, wait, you're a werewolf. Doesn't, doesn't apply to you, right? Tenement Building, South Bronx. Sometime after midnight. Seems about right. I'd be definitely in South Bronx during midnight. What the toad? <laughs> Big B, listen, mate. I, I know I don't look human. It's a problem. I'll get it. I just stepped out the apartment for just a second to see what kind of damage this drunk shit is doing. What drunk just cut me a break, yeah? I'll get me glamour first thing in the morning. Cross my arm. No need to kick up a fuss. Um, Come on, Big B. Say something. <laughs> Are you starting to scare me? That's good. If you can't afford to look human, you're going to the farm. It's as simple as that. You can't send me up to live with those animals. <laughs> I didn't know what to decide. You know what I mean. Go see a witch. Get a glamour. Big B, they're bleeding me dry, mate. The quality of the spell goes down, but the rates keep climbing up. Do you have any idea how much it costs to have an entire family in glamour? Then get it fixed. It's not complicated, Toad. Whatever it costs, it's worth it. Huh. You don't want me catching you out of glamour again. Better remember that, Toad. Fuck it out! See? This is what I told you about, Sheriff. You're just gonna stand there, do something, Big B. Before he completely tears up the place. Well, let's head upstairs, yes, damn it. Go handle this. Yes, please. Thank you. Down and down and down. So what I'm so what I'm seeing is that glamour is kind of like a drug here, Furry but it's a necessary shot. drug. Tell me how to spend my money. Hey, shut up, Toad. Dad, the lights are shaking again. What did I say? Ah, <laughs> he's a, a tiny little frog. Take you away. No. Then get that fuck back inside. <laughs> Damn, they should take his kids. Child Protective Services. Don't they have any of those for the magical world? Alright, so as I was saying, that, that glamour thing is kind of like a drug. Can you pick that up? Alright. Found a match box, a match book, or whatever they call it. Who's on the phone? Anybody? I obviously hear the tone, but... Alright, hanging that shit up. Okay. 
Should I open it or kick it down? Come on, guys. What do you think? Yeah, let's be a badass. Let's kick that door open. Yeah, yeah. Damn you. Hey, bad. Can't be slapping women. What's wrong with you? Fuck are you talking about, you stupid? Oh, spit in your face, bro. I'll fucking kill you. All right, what's going on? Oh, you should not have done that, sir. Now I'm gonna beat your ass to the ground. Get the fuck out of the way before. It's your last warning, bro. Woody, this is your last warning. If you keep on like this, I won't have any choice but to put you down. We're gonna what euthanize you, bro. You got a shit fucking memory, Wolf. That's not how it went last time. This isn't last time. Oh, oh he's been training. He's been at the gym. Yeah, yeah. Ah, come on, come on. Yeah, let's go smack him against that. Yeah, take that. Oh, shit, I gave him a knife. Great. Yeah, blocking, dodging. You think you know what you're doing, but you don't know nothing. <laughs> this is awesome. Fuck you, get that now. Yeah, take that. Oh, oh you want that? You want to try to fight me with? Oh, shit. Now your head. Damn. I'm beating the crap out of this guy. Now the desk. I like how I can choose. Smack his head in there. Now get the bottle. Smack it on his head. Take that. Oh shit, toaster. Toaster strudel. Yeah, I'm gonna dodge and weave on that one. You think you know stuff? I trained to be a boxer, bro. I take to the bed. Oh, you like that? I'm gonna violate you. <laughs> Beat him in the face. Repeatedly, come on. Don't hold back. He likes to fight? Fight him. Oh, there comes the axe. Now you better not get me with that damn axe. That's what I thought. You got it stuck already, loser. Oh, I like this control. Oh! Damn, that was rough. Poor guy. I kind of feel bad for him. I'm a werewolf. I'm a boss. Actually, I you don't know if I'm a werewolf yet, so. Look, I'm not leaving until I get what's mine. You're not getting shit, bitch. <laughs> I'll fucking put you on the ground. Hey, if you can't be nice, I'm gonna make you wait outside. <laughs> oh, fucking shit. <laughs> you bogged my jaw, you bastard. <laughs> still you talk. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> What the hell is going on? What happened? A little misunderstanding that turned into a real shit show. Don't worry, you saw the best bits. <laughs> There's more where that came from, girly. Knock it off! Look, this is just the start of a shitty night for me. I just need the money he owes me, then I can go. Oh, he's, she's a hooker. Here? These lips are sealed. What's your name? Whatever you'd like it to be, handsome. Yep, Don't definitely make this hooker. More difficult than it has to be. Sorry, Sheriff. I'm gonna name you Candy. Didn't want to add any difficulty to your night. Your name's Candy. Why was he hitting you? He asked me if I recognized him, knew who he was. I said I didn't. He started beating on me. Then you showed up, started beating on him. <laughs> that about cover it, hon? I'm the woodsman, you whore. I saved Little Red Riding Hood from this monster. I cut this fucker open and filled his belly full of stones and threw him in the fucking river. That's who the fuck I am, you stupid bitch. Hey, what did I say about that word? Oh, <laughs> damn. Oh, shit, that looked like it hurt. Oh, so I get, I'm getting it now. The storyline is based on a bunch of characters from, from different, uh, basically kid stories, uh, the old fables that they used to read when we were kids. So that was, <laughs> that was a husband that saved Red Riding Hood. That's interesting. It was that your car, Toad? Hey, Toad. I'm sorry. Oh, I hope you have insurance. Yeah. <clears throat> Give me a second. Oh no, by all means, take your time. How's your insurance, huh? So, uh, 
How good is your insurance? <laughs> you don't have any, I bet. I can't be mad at you. I called you, and you come to help. I can't be mad. But even when you help, things end up more fucked than they started. <laughs> well, at least you're not fucking dead. Ah, come on! Yeah, shock you up, bro. Come on, come on, come on. Come make me do this. No, come on, come on, it's not fair, not fair, not fair, not fair. Not fair. Oh, he wants to get the werewolf out. No, 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 don't, no, you can't get the werewolf. You can't, no. No, you're gonna make me crazy. No, it's not fair. Wake the hell up. There you go. Okay. Okay. Oh, crap. Candy. You got him. Bad candy. Bad. Go back to the candy store. That's not good, guys. That's not good. Should we be killing people? He's still alive? How? How is this possible? What are you doing? Oh, you're taking the money, aren't you, Candy? What he owes me. Damn you, Candy. You all right back there? I mean, your eyes and the teeth. You're not really supposed to do that, are you? Not if I can avoid it. Quarters, really? Great. The guy's got an axe in his brain. He's not feeling that. It's more from me. <laughs> He'll be. Oh, How is he still alive? Let me help you. <laughs> I'm gonna. I'm just gonna let her. That makes two of us. I guess it's a good thing fables are hard to kill. <laughs> Oh, okay. That makes sense. So they don't die easily. So can they die? Is it possible to die? Where are you going, Candy? You need more lighter fluid. That's obvious, girl. Lighter sugar. Come on, be a gentleman. Yeah. Give her cancer. <laughs> Thanks. I'm liking the game so far, guys. Really? I hope you guys are. These lips are sealed. Sorry. Why did she keep saying that? Who is she? Hey, you like my ribbon? I love it, girl. Beautiful. Beautiful. Thank you. Oh, Candy's definitely gonna remember that. I feel like we've met before. Maybe we have. We probably have. We all sort of knew each other at one point or another. But things change, I guess. I guess. Change how? Like we're all stuck in this weird city now? Oh, he left! Great! Of course. Shit. <laughs> Did you see the license plate? It said totally. Stop. We don't uh, have to make any more of a thing out of so it. That is so lame. Is. Are you sure? Uh, he's had enough. For tonight, at least. <laughs> Wouldn't be surprised if he has an axe to grind, though. That wasn't intentional. <laughs> Sorry. Don't touch me, girl. How much was the OJ? Are you gonna? Are you gonna pay? I'm guessing it'd be bad for you to show up empty-handed. Just give her the money. Come on, I know you're gonna do it. Give her some money. Come on. Let's see. I've got uh, it's twenty, forty, seven, eight, fifty-eight. It's all I got. Uh, it'll help, right? Take it. It's okay. I'll be fine. You've done enough, really. How am I, sheriff, and only have fifty-eight dollars? Take the money. Okay. 
You got me out of a bad situation back there. Thanks. I'm still gonna need a statement. I have to go drop off what I have. Meet me back at my office then. It's a little late for an office visit. Yeah, Shira. now it's not, it's I never late. Swing by your apartment. How do you know where I You live am? in the smallest apartment in the woodlands. Everyone knows that. So she so doesn't meet know. me at my office. You should get cleaned up. But she'll meet me at my apartment. Like shit. Um, okay. And I don't use that term lightly. Some of these look pretty bad. I clean up okay. <laughs> when I see it. Hey. I need to tell you something. Tell me, girl. What is it? You're not as bad as everyone says you are. Ah, oh, thank you. You're so kind. Oh, yeah. thank you. That was so kind of you, lady. I'll see you around. See you later, Candy. Wolf. Stop staring at that ass. Okay, continue staring. It's fine. Now what? Damn. You be pimping it. Definitely an awesome start, guys. I like the color. There's a lot of purple in there. Purple's an awesome color. A lot of dark hues and blue and so on and so forth. I don't know, I just, I, I'm liking it already. So I can expect awesome things from this game. So far we know a couple of characters, Mr. Toad, Candy, Wolf, and the Huntsman, who supposedly saved the big, the uh, wolf, red little, right, right in hood, from the big, bad, <laughs> big fat wolf, <laughs> big bad wolf. Alright, so what do we do now? Walk around. Uh, I guess we're going to this place. Let's go ahead and check out exactly what we're getting ourselves into. <laughs> so I live in a luxury apartment that's awesome. Is it really a luxury apartment or? Stay off the grass. Sometimes be a disciplinarian. Ah damn it. I was gonna walk on the grass. I was gonna be like, no one tells me what to do. Bo? Ah, who's in the bushes? I saw you! Didn't you read the sign? Is that you, Little Red Riding Hood? Come on out. Come on, girl. Alright, alright. Beauty. Oh, it's Hello, Beauty! Beauty! Awesome! I wasn't expecting anyone. I know this looks a little odd. You're out pretty late. Is there some sort of curfew I don't know about? <laughs> What's with the third degree? Damn it, I'm late. You're not gonna give her a ticket for being on the grass? This gets long. No? Maybe. Please, Bigby. Promise me you won't tell Beast you saw me. What were you doing? We're cheating? too much as it is, and... It would just make my life a lot easier. Sure. Are you cheating on the beast? How dare you? Thank you, Bigby. I'll explain it all to you later. Well, good, Beauty. I will, but I have to go. That's crazy. We're seeing a lot of characters. That's that's kind of cool. I like that. Thank you for trusting me. Really, I I appreciate it. You're welcome. You're welcome, Beauty. So now I got two girls, Beauty and Candy. They will be my girlfriends. I'll tell you later. They'll be my girlfriends. I promise you. Bigby seems like that kind of guy. I don't know. Then the beast will try to kill me. Maybe that's not such a good idea. And 
Candy's a hooker, so. Of course. What do you got? You got a ledge over there? Everybody come and look for me? No? Fly catcher needs to dust this. <laughs> Can I take something from him? And he's still asleep. Wow. Maybe I can go check my mail. Go check my mail. Been a while since I got any mail. No. I ordered something from Amazon. It should be here. Seventh day in a row. Damn it! They said it would be here yesterday. I'm gonna have to call and complain. Oh, cool! Look, it tells you like who lives in here. Beast, Mr. and Mrs. So then the beast lives in my place. That is awesomeness. Oh, I guess I'm going up the elevator, right? Why even wake up the stupid guard who's not even doing his job? Coming down. Alright, I guess we'll take the elevator up. Who is that? Who are you? Bigby. Hey, wait up. Have you seen my wife? Have ah, you seen Judy? Shit. Nope. Haven't seen her. Oh. Okay. Sorry to bother you. I promise that Damn I it. Something's going on. I promised I had to lie to him because I had promised already to Beauty that I wouldn't say anything. But what can I do, right? That's the life. Oh, Sheriff, you gotta make some hard decisions. 204. It's a nice number. But is it really luxury? I'm gonna have to go ahead and assume it's probably not. Nope. Damn, should have cracked a window. Definitely not luxury. Is it hot in there? You don't got AC, bro? 20th century. 21st century. Right? At least the water's clean. Does he also heal rapidly? Doesn't even look like he has any wounds. What a night. You're telling me, bro. Alright, guys. I think I'm gonna go ahead and end it here. I gotta say that this is an awesome game. There's a lot of action in it, at least to start off, there was a lot of action. And uh, we met a lot of awesome characters like Beauty, the Beast, uh, Toad, I'm pretty sure I remember him from some, some fable, I just can't remember which one. The guy who saved Red, Little Red Riding Hood, and so on and so forth, but it seems like it's all like dark and twisted. How I'm saying, it kind of gives me the same reminder of like Once Upon a Time, that show on ABC. But uh, in like a more, I don't know, dark city-like mystery kind of scenario so i love the game i hope you guys are enjoying it if you did go ahead and give it a like comment if you're what what you think about it and subscribe of course if you haven't already as well as just remember guys entertainment equals me times comedy squared peace out and have yourselves a great day laters